when I was doing more research onto Canadian universities and Canadian engineering specifically, I found this whole thing called like a, the, the iron ring, everything to do with the iron ring and the order of a ritual of an engineer and all of that. And when I sort of read up more about that, I just fell in love with the way that Canadians try and instill the importance of being an engineer to you as a student from the under, undergraduate level. I wasn't exactly sure what it would be like. I thought that everything would be completely digital, which it is, but I thought because of that, it'd be quite boring. You know, they wouldn't be that much of what we're doing. I, I mean, I told you earlier on that I wanted to do engineering in comparison to a science because it's hands-on, it's physical, you know? So I was really concerned about that. But then when entering specifically the IP13 program, they still managed to make me feel like an engineer by sitting at home. You know, you're te you're, they're teaching me things in a solutions oriented way. So I'm sitting at home and I'm being taught to figure out a renewable energy solution for a large population. I'm like, what? That was a highlight because I thought I'd just be sitting, getting someone talking not to me, but at me, you know, as, in a, as lectures usually are throughout this whole period of time, just sitting at home, writing down what this, um, you know, all knowing person is saying, but that's, that was not the case, at least not the majority of the time. I still managed to feel like an engineer. I still got that feeling. Like what I have taken advantage of is academic adv uh, advising, which has really supported me. That's been really, that's been really nice. It also provided connection to the university in a sense, even at times more so than um, being in the teams. Cause I had someone that I could talk to, someone that I could talk about my, uh, like where I am academically, my ambitions, where I'd like to be academically, what I can do, what I can change to make this as successful as possible. So in that, in that sense, yes, I do feel supported by the university. The rigorousness of the of the of the course, as well as the way it's being taught, as in an online platform, it's made me have to learn new skills and improve other ones, such as time management. That's been a big one for me. Um, trying to master time management so I can be as productive as possible. Also, trying to trying to take a step back from everything to see the bigger picture, to allocate uh, resources adequately amongst everything that I need to do. So, which I actually do think is not only just an engineering skill, but a skill that you need for life. I'd love to meet people, other people in engineering, um, students and professors. Um, I'd also love to, I'd love to go to a library, an engineering library. I never thought I'd ever say those words, but <laughs> I would really love to go to a library. Um, I just also, I'd like to see, you know, see what's going on, see Canada, see Hamilton, the country, because we've been so locked up for so long, you know, your surroundings are the same. So I'd like to also have a look and explore this new uh, city. But yeah, I just really would like to be surrounded by anything and everything to do with engineering. Mm -hmm.